Just a few hours away from the start of the great eclipse. Yeah, the total solar eclipse will make its way across the U.S., traveling from Oregon down to South Carolina throughout the afternoon. The eclipse will be at its maximum in our state around 2.44 this afternoon. Right now, CBS North Carolina's Michael Highland and Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein are in Franklin. That, of course, in Macon County with a look at how people are preparing. Gentlemen, good to see you up so early in the morning. Hi guys, good morning to you and good morning to everyone back home. We are in the path of totality, about five hours west of Raleigh. Michael, it's a little too early to have your glasses I was going to say, good to see you too, Maggie, but I literally cannot see a thing right now. Yeah, we made our way up here yesterday, and to our surprise, I think it's busier now here in the town of Franklin than it was on the interstates driving up. Yeah, there really weren't a lot of people coming in yesterday. It seems like a lot of people spread it out Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ironically, flipping through the radio stations yesterday, I didn't hear total eclipse of the heart a single time, which I feel like was a missed opportunity. That is a tragic. That is very <laughs> tragic. Um, so like we said, you know, there's actually a little bit of activity around town. We're about eight hours from the total eclipse happening here. And, you know, Franklin is just down the road from Cullowee, North Carolina, the home of Western Carolina University, and maybe one of the smartest people in the state about our solar system. Uh, one of their professors, Dr. Amy Fagan, came down to chat with us yesterday about what's happening later today. And she kind of warned us, you know what, there could be a time in our country where we might not actually get to see a total solar eclipse. And here's why. Uh, the moon is moving at a rate of about one and a half inches per year away from Earth. So in about 600 million years, that magical distance um, and size ratio won't exist anymore. We'll still have eclipses where the moon can block the sun, but it won't block all the sun. You will see what's referred to as an annular eclipse. Yeah, so it takes a very special alignment of the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun to get a perfect total solar eclipse. I don't think any of us are going to be around in 600 million years. I was planning to. Years. This is well, really disappointing. Let me know what your secrets are, but uh, things are moving out there, and today they'll be moving in a big way. This place is going to be packed. They're having a uh, party later today, and there's going to be a lot more people than just you and I down here. Yeah, they've been getting, setting up, getting set up here since yesterday, and there are actually some people down here because they never left. Some of the business owners down here that were open on Sunday, they normally aren't. They ended up staying the night here because they were so concerned that in a few hours there'd be too much traffic here and they wouldn't be able to get back to their businesses today. And I talked to Gwen Taylor who owns the art store just down the road from here about all the hype surrounding this experience. It's almost for me it's been like Christmas you're waiting for it to happen and you're preparing and just don't know what to expect. <laughs> what's going to be in that present when you open it up? So we're just waiting to see what's going to take place. That sums it up pretty well. I really don't know what to expect either, but I'm very excited to be here to experience this at least. We do know that uh, there will be an eclipse happening later today. The forecast here with low humidity, thankfully, will be a high of 89, partly cloudy skies, and a small chance of rain later. Michael, you had your glasses on earlier. A lot of people still haven't been able to find glasses. He's going to put them on. Another good trick, you know, we did the uh, cereal box solar viewer. That's on our website, WNCN.com. Grab a colander from the kitchen. And if you hold it up to align to the sun, when it makes its little shadow, you'll see a bunch of little eclipses instead of the holes in the colander. It's another way to watch it later today. Okay, I'll let you give that one a try. I'm going to stick with the glasses at least for today. It's also fun to wear at parties and for morning news <laughs> broadcasts. So that is our story this morning, reporting live from, Frank, uh, from Main Street in Franklin, North Carolina. For Michael Highland, I'm Wes Owenstein, CBS North Carolina. I'm saying this all morning long, we're not that far away from the great solar eclipse. That total eclipse across the country, folks, will see it. Hopefully in Oregon, maybe not. It's Hopefully. a little cloudy there. <laughs> uh, all the way down to South Carolina, but of course part of North Carolina gets to see it in one specific section. Sees the whole thing. Yeah, and that is where we find CBS North Carolina's Michael Highland and Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein. They're in Franklin, which is, of course, in Macon County. And you got to look at how people there are preparing. And Wes and Michael, uh, pretty much uh, a lot of excitement over there. Yeah, guys, the, the only non-exciting thing right now is the sun's not up and it's foggy. Of course, you and I are usually on late in the evening, so it's a little different for us. This is a new view altogether for us at this point. Yeah, but there's already people showing up downtown, people getting their parking spots, getting ready. People here before sunrise, so mm -hmm. already getting a preview of what it's going to be like later this afternoon. Yes, and the man in charge of a lot of what's going on here in town is Mayor Bob Scott. Mayor, come on over here with us this morning. So you were nice enough to bring us some coffee, right? I'll share. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. So, you know, this is normally a town of 4,000 people. You're expecting a lot more than that. So how many people and how are you all going to handle them? Well, we don't know how many people to expect. Uh, we expect the big rush to start about 9 or 10 when people who are within an hour or two drive come here. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, I understand that our airport has no place left to park an airplane. All those private jets, right? For all those, quite a few of them, from what I understand, yes. It's a great day for Franklin, and uh, we, we scheduled, I got a little criticism for scheduling it on a Monday instead of the weekend. Right. <laughs> So, You'll have to work on that for the next time, right? Well, I am. I am. I've already started work on that. And you guys started planning for this a year ago. We did. We started planning uh, actually probably a little over a year ago when, when it brought, was brought to our attention what an event this would be and that we were in basically the epicenter of the totality. And it's not just the fun stuff that you have to prepare for. You also got to make sure that oh. emergency vehicles can get around all that. There's a lot of logistics that go into hosting something like I, I this. I don't know how many porta johns we have out. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but they're everywhere. Uh, logistics, extra police, uh, all of these things. But the thing about it is, we don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. It may be the biggest thing that have a biggest crisis in Franklin, or it may be a bust. But right now, it's looking like it's going to be the biggest thing. Now, for everyone back home in Raleigh that doesn't know, we're up here in Macon County. We're about five hours west of Raleigh. Uh, you guys get a lot of people coming through the Appalachian Trail, and that's that's a lot of your big business throughout the year, right? It, it certainly is. We're getting known as an outdoor town. We have 60 miles of the Appalachian Trail through Macon County. And uh, as, as, as people get more health conscious and exercise and all, mm -hmm. we have everything to offer right here in Franklin. Now, you were giving me one thing about the forecast today but it's okay. long-term. Morning fog, what does that mean? All right, for every fog we have in August, we can expect to snow this winter. Okay. And you, you can count on that. All right, I'll, I'll come back and hold you to it. Uh, All right. Thank you so much to you thank and everyone you here in town for We're having so proud us. proud to have you here. We are happy really to be awesome. here, and this fog will burn off. We're expecting partly cloudy skies, a high near 90, but guys, low humidity, which is a lot different than what's going on back at home. Oh.